Keep up to date with the weather through the next couple of days. There's an awful lot going on. The best way to do that, of course, if you're watching on YouTube, is to hit subscribe. Some thunderstorms in the forecast, particularly across the south. Meanwhile, much of the north will stay dry and fine, thanks to this area of high pressure that's been with us all week. But further south, things are changing. Lower pressure is edging northwards. We've already seen one or two thundery downpours, and we'll see more of them developing across the south as the day goes on. Large hailstones, lots of lightning and the potential for some flooding from the heavy rain that comes along uh, with those downpours. A bit of drizzle here and there over northern England and uh, particularly along the coast and over the hills. Staying quite grey and drab in parts of eastern Scotland but much of northern and western Scotland and northern Ireland Dry, fine, sunny, another lovely day here. Plenty of sunshine across East Anglia in the southeast too, but there is a fairly brisk breeze, bringing a cooler feel on some coasts, particularly where it stays grey in the northeast. In the south, though, temperatures could easily get into the uh, low, maybe even mid 20s in one or two places, 20 degrees in western Scotland again as well. But across the south, we do have to cater for these heavy, thundery showers that are developing. Not everywhere in this warning area will catch a downpour, but where they do occur, it's a Lots of lightning, uh, a lot of spray surface water on the roads, hailstones also into the equation. So that could cause some disruption. So we have that uh, yellow one warning in place for today. And as the thunderstorms fade through the evening, many places will become dry. But the cloud will then spill back inland overnight over the Midlands and Wales back into eastern Scotland. Again, some drizzle here and there, but notice further heavy thundery showers coming up from the south. So there is another yellow Met Office warning in place for Saturday. Quite a mild night again for most with some clearer skies in Western Scotland. Uh, we'll dip down into single figures here, but another cracking day in Western Scotland uh, generally on Saturday. By and large, fine too for Northern Ireland. Some sunny spells developing after a, a cloudy start. But in the south, again, we'll have these hit and miss thundery showers developing. Again, uh, hailstones likely lots of uh, flashes of lightning as well as the potential for the downpours to cause some local flooding. So another Met Office yellow warning in place for that. The warning area is slightly larger, but again, not everywhere in the warning area will catch a downpour. There will still be some decent spells of sunshine across the south, which will lift those temperatures maybe up again to 25 degrees Celsius. Noticeably cooler on some of these North Sea coasts where it stays drab, uh, Newcastle, Edinburgh, only 15 or 16 Celsius, yet again, Western Scotland could reach 20 Celsius in the sunshine. Still a few of these heavy showers around on Saturday evening over parts of the Midlands, Wales, Southwest England in particular. So don't get caught out by a downpour if you're heading out on Saturday night. Should tend to fade from the Midlands and Southeast England as we go through the evening get time. Notice this cloud, a feature of the weather throughout the weekend across Northeast England and Eastern Scotland. And then further heavy rain coming up across parts of the South during Sunday also. Uh, maybe not so much hit and miss in nature. This is more of a broader area of uh, wet weather, but again, potentially causing some disruption. And uh, we, again, have fine and sunny weather, generally speaking, for Northern Ireland and Western Scotland. So, as I said, quite a bit going on where it's sunny temperatures, high teens, uh, low 20s, where it stays grey across the northeast, low teens at best. So do keep up to date those warnings. You can check them out for yourselves on the website and on the Met Office app. And as I mentioned, if you're watching on YouTube, do hit subscribe.